in front of the port here in Heraklio City, the capital of Crete. Now Crete is the largest island in Greece and the fifth largest in the entire Mediterranean. It's a place of unique beauty and historical interest. There's a museum found in the city center that holds the 3,000 year old Minoan civilization which grew in a nearby palace of Gnosis, a place we are about to go and see. In the early 1900s, a man by the name of Sir Arthur Evans excavated the palace complex in only five years, an extremely short time by today's standards. However, Evans had restored the palace with concrete, a technique condemned by modern archaeologists as arbitrary and damaging to the Minoan structure. Colorful frescoes and paintings fill the walls of the palace and exhibit life from this era. Pictures vary from animals and people to gods and various ceremonies, telling us the Palace of Gnosis was an advanced and sophisticated society. The palace spread over 20,000 square meters of land with heights reaching four stories. It provided housing for nearly 100,000 people. The palace is set around a large central court which was used for public meetings. The centerpiece of the Minoan Palace was the so-called throne room. The chamber has an alabaster seat identified by Evans as a throne which is built into the north wall. The actual use of the room and the throne is unclear. The Palace of Gnosis is the largest Bronze Age archaeological site in Crete. It lies five kilometers southeast of Heraklion. 